Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm taking a look at a two-player ladder climbing card game called Blast. Blast here is from the same designer and the same publisher as Claim. Claim is also a two-player only card game. That one's more specifically a trick-taking game. This is a ladder climbing game. I know some folks call that trick-taking, but it's not quite the same thing. And that game, Claim, is fantastic. It's a wonderful game. It is quick, it's punchy, it's got lots of interesting powers in it. So the question then is, can the same team uh, recapture that lightning in a bottle in this one right here in Blast? Well, before I answer that question, let's go ahead and take a look at how the game works. I'll see you on the other side. To set up the game, we're going to shuffle up the deck of cards over here. We're going to line up these five planets. We've got the player aids over here that are the uh, four different kinds of aliens in the deck. And then we've got this stack of stars, which the players are going to be winning in the game. So this is a ladder climbing game, like I said. And you are going to be playing cards from your hand to one of the different planets, trying to win the ladder climbing and pull that planet towards you. So I'll show you how that works. You're going to shuffle this up. Like I said, everybody gets 15. I'm not going to worry about it too much for right now. I will just hand out a few cards to each player like that. So on your turn, you're going to pick a planet and you are going to play cards to that planet. Each one has a specific type of requirement necessary to play to it. So this is a single card. This is a pair, three of a kind. This is a ladder in the same suit and a ladder of three cards, three cards, three cards in different suits. So I could take a look at my hand, for example, and go, okay, I'm going to play a, a pair. So I can play a pair right here to this one, okay? And then my opponent will have a chance to play something back. If they have a better pair, then they can play that back. So they could play maybe two nines. Comes back to me. If I have a better pair, I can play that. And, go, and it goes back and forth until a player cannot play or chooses not to play. And then we are done. So my opponent is going to win this. We are going to discard all these cards, and they are going to pull this planet towards them. Boop! Right there. There are three steps here. This is a step right in front of them, the middle step, and then one step here in front of me. Meaning, if I then win this at some point, it's going to come one click towards me, so it just goes back to the center, okay? But besides that, the aliens, the four different suits in the game, are going to have special abilities, okay? Uh, so let me uh, talk about those abilities so that you understand what else you can do with these. So there are four of them. Like I said, these are player aids. And um, they are they have the name of the alien and then this white text and a really hard to read font. So they're not that useful. Um, so what do they do? Morphe here can be used as any suit. So this can be a two in any of the other three suits. I have Shrinken. The Shrinken aliens can shrink, and so you can use this as one lower than the number it says, or an eight, so an eight or a seven. And then these two, the Trashers over here, when you win a trick with them, the winner will discard one card from their hand. So if you, you know, if I win with this, I discard one card out of my hand. And that's good because you're trying to get rid of your uh, your hand of cards. And then lastly, the Greed Bots over here. When you win with them, you will pull the planet all the way to you. So if I would win right here, instead of it just the one click, like I said, it comes all the way over to me. Once that's done and somebody won that trick or that, you know, ladder climbing instance, then whoever did win leads again and they play to anywhere they want to. So maybe they'll play a single card to this planet right here. I respond to that with this one. They respond to that with a 10, and I pass. Okay, great, they win that. They won with a Morphe, so that, that's not going to do anything. And then they lead again, and so on, until a player is out of cards. As soon as you are out of cards, immediately, you don't even complete that ladder climbing. As soon as you play your last card, done. You get one star from the stack. You put that in your score pile. And then we are going to see if you have seven points. Every planet in front of you is a point that you can lose, obviously, because of the back and forth. 
and every star is a point that you cannot lose. So right now that player would have, let's say, uh, three, and let's say I want this one, so I've got one. We're going to shuffle up the deck of cards, and we're going to play again. This continues happening until someone has seven, and then they win the whole thing. Once we've got our, set, our, our 15 new cards in hand, whoever has the most... Or rather, the, you know, you check the difference in points. That player has three, I have one. We are going to exchange cards from our hand. So that player right now is beating me by two. So they have to give me two cards from their hand. I have to give them two cards. I can give them any two cards I want, i.e. the absolute most garbage cards I have in my hand. They have to give me their best cards. So they are going to give me this ten. They are going to give me this ten. And then, we play again. And this is going to, like I said, just continue. Once somebody runs out of cards, let's say it's me this time. And let's say I pulled this back, I took that, they took that, and uh, I pulled that back. Great. I get, ran out of cards first, I get this. I have one, two, three, they have two. We're going to shuffle up again. I'll give them my best card, one. The difference is now only one. So I'll give them my best card, they give me whatever card they want. And we do it again. And we do it again, and we do it again until somebody has seven, and then the game is over. So, there you go. That's basically how the game works. Let's go back up top. Let me tell you what I think of it. Well, the short answer to that query I posed a moment ago uh, about, uh, you know, the lightning being recaptured in a bottle is no, in my opinion. I think this is a much weaker game than Claim ever is, okay? Uh, and there's a few reasons for that, a few uh, things that I think would keep this one off of my personal shelf. Let me go ahead and, and see if I can illustrate those things. So, um, just from the top, I'm going to start right away from the top. The theme here is quite generic. It's a sci-fi theme with aliens, I guess, fighting over planets. It doesn't have the charm of uh, many other... It's going to be hard not to compare this to Claim. It does not have the charm of Claim, for one thing. But it's also not that charming. I, I find it to be... I complain often about generic fantasy. This is very generic sci-fi, and it comes across that way. So, I found it not particularly captivating. The theme goes away basically immediately, and the thing that is left in many games... When that happens is the artwork, and in this one, I don't think the artwork is necessarily anything superb. So let's slip right into the aesthetics. I have issues with the aesthetics here above and beyond the fact that the artwork is not particularly to my liking. What am I talking about here? Well, there's some strange color choices in this game. There are four suits in this game. I'm sure many are to come because this is much like Claim, again... A game that is almost designed for expansions, right? I'm sure they've already got expansions ready to go, working on more, all of that. And yet, somehow, they managed to put in the four original colored suits that are in this, black and two shades of purple. And I don't understand what's going to happen when we get expansions. Is it going to be other shades of purple? I, I don't mind running into two vaguely similar colors. In, in the third expansion, you know? But out of the core box, I'm worried that they're working with a limited palette here. Because they're trying to, to fit the, the trappings of the universe, right? The, the theme they're going with here. So I don't like that. I think the player aid cards are really, they're, they're, they're really bad. They are using a white font on a light green background. They are on the table between the players. The font they went with is very hard to read. Um, and I just, I think it's a missed opportunity, uh, unfortunately. So, again, the whole thing just sort of doesn't appeal to me, the look of it. Card quality is excellent. You know, uh, a White Goblin always has great component quality. Just the look here is not doing the game any favors. The replay value, I don't think it's particularly high yet. I'm sure it will get to that point when there's more content out for this. But as of right now, it's certainly not something that I like. On my third play of this, I did not rediscover or find anything that was very interesting or new. 
uh, I was sort of done at that point. Third game of this, I was basically done with it, okay? Uh, the game arc is also going to get a big thumbs down for me because the game lists 15 minutes. Uh, again, I'm going to compare it to Claim. Claim is two rounds. It's about 15 minutes. This is, you play out 15 cards, and you will easily do that four or five times until before someone gets to the seven points required to win the game, okay? Um, it felt too long, and it also has this real pendulum swinging feel to it. The reason for that, I suspect, is a particularly punch-you-in-the-face catch-up mechanism. In which if I am if I just had a tremendously bad round, I am going to absolutely ravage your hand of cards. Okay, uh, we'll talk about more a little bit uh, in a, in a sec, but um, that's that's a big problem. I think the the catch up mechanism in this game feels really really strong. If I if you have to give me three your three best cards and I can give you my three whatever cards. I am probably going to win the next hand. So, it, it I mean, it, it feels really, really strong. So, I know what the idea was behind that. Um, my brain suspects overcompensation. Okay. Uh, next up, ease of play. I think it's fine. I think that the game is uh, pretty easy to play. You, you, you know, once you've read the rule book, you sort of internalize everything. It plays fine. I like the ladder climbing different categories, single card, a pair, I mean, there are things we've seen in every ladder climbing game, probably ever, but yes, it works, the idea of pulling a planet towards you, yes, and, you know, scoring that, running out your hand is still very much important, not just pulling the planet, so I, I like that, and then lastly, tactics, luck, strategy, there's some interest here, um, when you play what is interesting, right? How do you short suit yourself? Getting rid of cards by playing the trashies or whatever. That works. You want to, you know, get rid of those cards. So I, you know, you want to, you don't want to necessarily end up really close to running out your hand of cards with like one card in your hand that is really like a two in something sucks. You're probably going to lose that hand. You got to get rid of some low car so that you don't end up, you know, doing that to yourself. But again, it's very obvious ladder climbing kind of stuff. Um, so there you go. Overall, my biggest problem with this is, like I said, twofold. I think it, it could have looked a lot better, been a lot more user-friendly. And the game's cadence, the way the game unfolds, I think is a little too repetitive and it's a little too swingy it just sort of like goes wow wow between the two players until it kind of settles we both have five or six and then somebody just wins next time okay so yeah like if you pull out a head big like if you get four points and i have one i'm gonna wreck you next hand and then we'll sort of even out again in the middle that's just the way it's gonna work out so there you go for me if this sounds interesting at all then i recommend you get claim Claim is a fantastic two-player game. Uh, it works really well right out of the box, and then all the content that exists for that game already is very good. It's going to liven it up again for you. You'll have your favorites, you know, suits and others that maybe you don't like as much, but it is a slam dunk out of the box. This one might get good, but as of right now... I don't really recommend it, okay? Um, so there you go. This is going to get a 5 out of 10 from me, folks. That's going to do it. My name is Z Garcia. I will see you on the next one.